What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy and your host of the A3 ATC Swap Group. Today I'm back with another sneak peek video for our A3 ATC Swap Group, this time part three. So we are working our way through these. I'm sorry there are so many so many sneak peek videos this time around, it's just easier to upload in smaller batches at a time, so just bear with me. I still have so many cards coming in and so many to show, but I'm excited to be able to bring these sneak peek videos to you, so I hope that you enjoy watching them. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. You probably do not know what I'm talking about, but I host an international artist trading card swap group over on my Instagram called the A3 ATC Swap Group. A3 is just short for Amy's Art Alchemy. It's an international artist trading card swap group and it runs every other month. So it's a very simple process. I would love for you to join us. Currently we have well over 340 artists from all over the world participating and we are always accepting new artists. So if you're interested, I have all of my information in the description box below. Just head on over to my Instagram and you can send me a message and I will send you all the information about our group. So I'm gonna quit talking and go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys a closer look of part three video for our December ATC swap. All right, guys, we are back with part three video of our sneak peek for the December A3 ATC swap group. This first set of cards comes from Jackie Marsh from England at Jackie Marsh Art. And she actually had intended for these cards to go for the October swap, but unfortunately with mail delays, they arrived right after our swap. So these are used for December. Um, so these are from Jackie Marsh Art from England. So absolutely beautiful cards. I love these little fox illustrations. I mean, how cute are those little foxes? And then I also love the pattern in the back. This one says wild and free. This one has the owl image and the really pretty leaves and polka dots in the back. I love this one. This one has a dragonfly and hopefully I can pick it up in the light. Really pretty raised um, gold paint across the top of the dragonfly. It's got some text in the background, like some watercolor, and then she's also outlined it with um, some yellow cardstock. So really pretty cards. This one has a jackrabbit on there, um, some art marks in the background. This one says kindness. Again, Jackie Marsh art from England. This one has the little rabbit looking up under the tree. It says thanks. Really pretty cards. I love the little rabbits. I mean, how cute is that? And I love how this tree just kind of curves like that. So again, these are from Jackie Marsh Art from England. Next up, we have cards from Maryland. These are from Rebecca Hargreaves from Doodles Doodles Do on Instagram. She made cute little presents out of these. I love how she did the baker's twine. It's got the little bell. Um, and then she also has the music note right there. I'm a little bit concerned about the bell, but um, I think we can be able to get it in an envelope if I add it with some flat ATCs for when I package these up. So since they don't squish, since that bell doesn't squish, I'll just have to make sure the other ATCs, um, the four that go along with it will be really flat, so that's not an issue, or just try to put it up closer at the corner of the envelope. But super cute little gift style ATCs. I love the the brown paper packaging and tied up with string. Of course, I'm gonna start singing. <laughs> but super cute, super cute ATCs. Again, these are from Rebecca Hargreaves from Maryland at Doodles Doodles Do. And then she also put some fun little information on the back. She says she has one son, three dogs, one cat, two horses. Goodness girl, you sound like me. I have six dogs six dogs and three boys. Love it. Really cute ATCs from Doodles Doodles Do, Rebecca Hargreaves from Maryland. Next up, I have cards from California from artist and crafter Amy. And yes, you did hear her name being called on sneak peek video one. She had sent me two batches of ATC cards and these were actually in intended for the December swap. Um, they are more Christmas themed, so I'm going to save her pandemic ones um, for February unless she tells me otherwise what to do. But these are from Artisan Crafter Amy from California. 
Really pretty cards. I love how she added the little pocket in the background. And then it's got this cute little tag. So that's a nice little extra on there. And then she has all of her information on there at the back as well. So really cute. I mean, I guess these could go for February as well. I saw the little presents in sleigh, but super cute, super cute cards. It's got really lace textiles up at the top. Uh, little Santa hat. This one says, together is the best place to be. This one says, be your beautiful self. I love that little postcard image. And I love these little pockets on the back. I think that's just a nice little extra tag. Um, and then it's just blank on the back that anybody can do what they want with it. So really pretty. These are from Artisan Crafter Amy from California. And then Amy, um, just let me know if you want me to save those other ones for February, I will do so. Um, but for right now, I will put these for December and save the other ones for February. And also the same thing happened with Al Hollow. I received another set of cards and she had December on the back of these. So I believe these were intended for December swap. I also showed some cards from her in sneak peek video one. So these will be going out for the December swap and the cute glittery purple owl ones will be saved for February. So these, she has a really cute tea mug and then it's got the little tag that comes on tea with the little quotes. I think that is a really cute teacup ATC by Al Hollow from New York. And then they've got her beautiful sheen on them like the ones had for the, um, that I showed in the sneak peek video part one. So really pretty cards. I love the little, the little tea themed. So cute. So I will save the other ones for February. Next up we have cards from Vincent from California at Studio Carnitas. And I love his cards. They are so quirky and cool. Um, this one says, do you think my head is too small for my body? But I love the way he collages with the comic book characters. And I am I am just thrilled that we have a couple guys in our A3 ATC swap group. We only have a few. Um, we did have one more and he left our group. But I just think it is awesome that we have such a variety. I'm hoping that more guys decide to join just so we have just a more variety. I understand, you know, a lot of our cars cards are more girly themed, but I just think it is awesome to have such a variety, and I love his cards. So there's this one, and I also like the sleeves that he used. They're really sturdy, heavy, um, heavy sleeves. So uh, let's see, Studio Carnitas, Tales from Comic is the title. This one says, what the heck am I doing on the toilet reading a comic book? How funny is that? So it's got Spider-Man, <laughs> absolutely love it. I just, I just think they're so cool and so unique. So I'm excited to have him. This one I loved. I actually, as soon as I opened this, I called my husband at work. I just thought this was just too funny. Um, cause you, well, you'll get it. It says, I don't wear my sunglasses at night. That would be stupid. And so of course, when I saw these, I just had to keep singing that song. I wear my sunglasses at night. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, I love these. Uh, Vincent, I love your talent. So creative. And I, I think I messaged you and told you how, how funny I thought this card was. And I had that song in my head all day long. So really cool cards. I love the, um, just the different style that he does. It's so different than all of our other ones. So I really like it. This one says, The Truth Dare. I have no idea what he's putting in his mouth. Oh, it looks like a bug. Ooh, that's gross. Still, super cool cards. I love these. Love having them. Uh, these are from Studio Carnitas from California. Sorry, that was a, probably really loud in your ear. These next one are from Illinois. This artist is not on Instagram, but her name is Erin Sheehan. She is from Illinois, and she has some beautiful collage cards. Um, it's got some washi tape. Uh, I'm not not really sure what this is. It's like a sticker, but it's kind of got kind of got a little bit of dimension to it. Really pretty color cards. 
so many different elements. It's got the little Jane Davenport face rub on, some bird washi, so many, so many different things going on. These cards, really pretty butterfly art marks. I love this flower in the background. Really pretty. So these are from Erin Seahan. Again, she put not on Instagram. I told her to put that. That way you guys were not trying to find her on Instagram. She's actually not on there. So, but she still wanted to join our group. I just told her to put that on there as a reminder. But she is from Illinois. Next up, we have cards from France. These come from Tova63, Sylvie. Absolutely beautiful winter wonderland cards. I love it. I love this little vintage illustration up at the top. Um, I love how you have the black grid washi tape along the side with the gold. And then she's got this really pretty washi tape going across the top. I love it. I wish, I need to add to my washi collection. I, I'm wanting to add some more um, grid like this and then some more transparent type. Really pretty cards. I love the Winter Wonderland, but they are all very similar. They all got kind of the same thing. This sticker right here is a little different, but they all have the calendar image in the back. Um, I'm not sure if this is just scrapbook paper or if that is a jelly print. It actually looks like it's a jelly print. Really pretty. It makes me want to get out my gel plate. I love these. Winter Wonderland. I'm curious, does anybody have up their Christmas decorations yet? I... I always try to wait till after Thanksgiving, but I just get too excited and I always put them up sooner. And it's not that I don't give Thanksgiving the amount of credit for what that holiday is because I love Thanksgiving, but I love decorating for Christmas. So I always like to have that up sooner. So I'm hoping we get our, our Christmas stuff up this weekend. But these are from Tova63. Sylvie from France and she's got all of her information on the back and absolutely perfect the way you put that on there. Theme is Noel. Um, I love, love, love that you put our hashtag on there. Thank you for doing that and everything is on there. So thank you so much, Sylvie. I love these cards. They are made super sturdy. So these will ship well. Absolutely perfect. These next cards come from the Netherlands. These come from Natasha Moritz at Winter 600. And she did a variety. She did three and three. And let me just show you. Okay, so these three are more of a collage style. She's got Christmas with the stamp trees. And then it's got a sleigh on this one. Gold letters. This one has some presents and some Christmas washi tape. Really pretty paper. This one has some bells really pretty but i absolutely i love these cards but i really love these because i love cards that have been drawn and painted i think i've said this before not that i don't love collage cards so please guys you are more than welcome to send in collage cards because i love it that is still an art it's definitely an art i love i love seeing all the variety that we get that's what makes this group so special is you have the freedom to create whatever style that you like and she mixed it so i think that was really creative too but i love these she's got the little houses and cityscape at the bottom with the lights on i just think it is gorgeous and the night sky and then we got santa with the reindeer flying across on his sleigh i mean how amazing are these i just love it so much texture in the moon really pretty card. So of course I love all six of them. Don't get me wrong. I just, these just really stand out to me. So thank you for making one for me. Absolutely beautiful, Natasha. These are from Natasha Winter 600 from the Netherlands. And then she has all of her information on the back. Thank you for including that. Next up, we have cards from Pennsylvania. These come from my friend, Linda Nagel at LSN Paper Creations. And I have always been obsessed with Linda's work. She just does the most beautiful creations. Her photo albums and pockets and things that she creates are amazing. I'm sorry if you hear my dog, one of my dogs barking in the background, but she just does such a beautiful job. I have a feature spotlight video of her. If you are not following her, please go do so. She is the sweetest lady ever. And I love seeing the things that she creates. And Linda, I have not forgot about you. I am still working on your happy meal. You just put so much into the one you sent me and I, I just don't want 
mine to be bad that I'm sending to you in return. So I'm just taking my time with it, but I already told you, I promise I'll get you something. But these are absolutely beautiful, Linda. I love how you created these. And I know you told me, don't worry about sending something in return, but that's just not in my nature. I always do that when I receive something. My list is long, but I eventually get through it. So I wanted you to know that. Um, and thank you for making an ATC for me. I love that, guys. Please know I do never, I never expect extra things, and I never expect an extra ATC to be made or gifts mailed to me. Please know that is not why I do this group. My purpose of this group is to bring artists together and for everybody to get something out of it, just to spread happiness in the mail and bring so many people together that have the same passion. That is my purpose for this group. But I am overjoyed to receive an extra ATC or to receive surprises in the mail. I mean, it just makes my day, actually makes my week. And I call my husband like every single time I get a package or show him and show my kids every time they come home. I just, I get so excited and I can't wait to show you guys a studio tour um, of some of the things in my room. I just look at it and there's so many things hanging up in my room from from all the artists in the group and the friendships that I have built in this group. I'm kind of going off on a rant, sorry. This is why my sneak peek videos have to be shorter because I talk too much. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you all for everything that you have done for me. It's just, I love this community and I love working on this group every single day. Because our group has grown, I do have to work on it every day, but it, it just brings me so much joy and helps distract me. And I love putting in so much time into it. So I'm glad to know that you guys enjoy it as well. So I've been holding these cards and haven't showed you because I just keep yapping. Okay, so beautiful bird illustration. She's got some textile in the back. She's got a little key and a little bingo embellishment tag. Really pretty cards. Sorry, I kind of got off on a little rant there. I just speaking from my heart like I always do. And I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. And I appreciate the time and effort that you put into it. Yes, I put a lot of, a whole lot of time into it. But I think that you guys do as well. And seeing how much you love the group, it just makes it all worth it to me. I love going back and looking at our hashtag and seeing how much you guys enjoy it. So that's why I keep doing it. That's why I get up every every day and come back in here and work on little things, work on the envelopes and packaging and things like that. So I'm, I'm thrilled to continue this on for next year as well. So beautiful cards, Linda. These are from LSM Paper Creations, Linda Nagel from Pennsylvania. Sorry, that was long rant. <laughs> next up, we have cards from Maryland. These come from Atlanta Shea from Maryland. Really pretty sparkly glitter cards. I love the Christmas tree. Love all the glitter. This one is a little bit smaller than an artist trading card, so keep that in mind when you're making them to make sure it's two and a half by three and a half, but it's not that much smaller, so I think it is perfectly fine. But I love all the glitter, super sparkly. I love the, the Christmas trees and all the different texture in these. Very pretty cards. These are from Atlanta Shea from Maryland. And then she included all of the information on the back. Thank you so much for doing that, friend. I really appreciate it. Next up, we have cards from Oregon. These come from Rochelle at Rocky 04. Let's see. Rocky 0407 Vintage Papers. And these are super cute. She made little booklets. Little booklet ATCs and... Um, it's, it's so unique. We've had a couple artists do this. Matter of fact, I think that you've did this before, Rochelle, but I love it. And it is still small enough because it is just paper that it is perfectly fine to go in the envelope and to go with the other one because it squishes pretty flat. So perfectly fine. I love how you made these. And I know this took time to make. And plus, she made one for me. So very, very sweet of you. I'm just going to quickly flip through these. But she they're not just blank. She included different things on there. Really cute cards, these tags and pockets, and they are just stitched. She did a little pamphlet stitch on the side. Um, there is some um, texture paper. It looks like maybe, uh, maybe an embossed. I can't tell if it's embossed or if it was just a jelly print, but she has all of her information on the back. It's Rochelle from Rocky 0407 Vintage Papers from Oregon. This one says believe and again i'm just going to quickly flip through but really really cute cards so many little 
textiles, whether it's on the side or down the middle. Really pretty lace detail. May your Christmas be the merriest ever. I am just so excited for, for the holidays. So excited, really pretty, really pretty trims. I absolutely love these trims. Little pockets, so cute. Very cute Rochelle. So I know these took some time to make. So I just appreciate you taking the time to make something special for our swap group. I, I love it when people don't rush through the cards, but take their time and create something special. And it just, it just makes me so happy that our group is growing and to see all the love in our group. I just absolutely love it. This one says Vintage Christmas. Really pretty cards. Last one, this one says Believe. And again, they are all just have different things on the inside. So again, these are from Rocky 407 Vintage Papers from Oregon. Next up, we have cards from Denise Westerberg from Florida. And you can find her on Instagram at Nana Banana Florida. And they say October, but these are actually for December. We switched them around, but I love these. And my kids are obsessed with old trucks. So I know one of these will be in the five that I get to keep because my kids were like, you have to keep one of those. And I agree, they are just absolutely amazing. Beautiful watercolor trucks and old vintage um, older model style trucks and I love the way you painted these they are just absolutely beautiful my kids loved them my husband loved them and of course I love them it is definitely a family thing around here my family probably gets tired of me hey come look at this and oh my gosh look or oh my gosh we just signed on a new state or a new country or guess how many artists we have I'm always talking about it but my guys are so supportive and they just they just think it is so awesome that we have this swap group and so I just love love putting in the time and work into this group. It is it is so fun. But these are amazing to me. So you can find her again at Nana Banana Florida and she has all of her information on the back. Very sturdy cards. And I am for sure going to keep one of these as my five that I get to keep. So I don't know which one, but there will definitely be four for four other lucky artists. So beautiful cards. And the last one for this sneak peek video comes from California from Dorothy Walker. And you can find her on Instagram at I am dot. So she's got all of her information on the back. Thank you so much for including that. It's not only important, I say this all the time, for my organization, but it is also very helpful. So you can see where your, I'm sorry, my dogs are barking in the background. So you can see where your cards have traveled and it's just awesome. But I also like how she included the materials that she used in these. Acrylics, Posca paint bins, sequin star, silver metallic marker, gesso. So, so much detail went into these. But look at this winter theme. I mean, how amazing are these? So she's got the little sentiment at the bottom. Very, very beautiful cards. I love seeing these painted cards. Let life surprise you. This one says, collect beautiful moments. Live gently upon this earth. I mean, so much detail in these guys. Live in the moment. And then she made this one for me. Thank you so much. And it says, just breathe. So thank you so much, Dorothy. Again, you can find her on Instagram at I am dot, and she is from California, and these are titled Winter Wonderland. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. That was a wrap of part three video. I hope that you are enjoying these sneak peeks. I know I really enjoy showing these to you. I still have several more artist trading cards to show, so keep that in mind. Part four video will be coming very soon. It is not too late to get your artist trading cards in, so be sure and get those mailed in to me. Plan for delays because more than likely that is going to happen. If they happen to arrive to me after December 15th, not to worry, I would just save those in your file and they would be used for the following swap in February. I hope you all are happy and well and we will talk to you later. As always, happy crafting.